Hi guys, so today's video is going to be super kind of chilled. I'm filming this video at 5.15 today, like today on Monday as you're watching this video. Basically I didn't have time to film a video this weekend and I've just got in and I've had my makeup on all day. I've just topped up my highlighter and put on a different lipstick and obviously powdered my face. But I just thought I would do a kind of casual favourites video just to quickly film it because I really didn't want to like miss an upload day. Um, so I'm sorry if this video doesn't meet the standards of my normal videos um, But I just didn't really see the point in like getting myself like fully glammed up just for a favorites video So yeah, I'm gonna be telling you guys what I've been loving this month And also I've got a couple of things at the end that I haven't really been loving that much um, And I was actually inspired by Manny MUA to do this and obviously like Nikki Tutorials who does like hits and oh god knows um, And yeah, I just thought that was kind of interesting to do and if you notice that my ear is a bit red I have actually got a new piercing this is always red anyway because my uh, cartilage or helix piercing is always really irritated um, But this one finally got better and then I decided to just like screw myself over and get a new piercing So I got my rook pierced which is like this little one in here um, and it's very sore. It was very painful I'm probably gonna do a full video about my piercings at some point soon, but for now, let's just get straight on to the favourites. I've had quite a few new discoveries throughout January in terms of like makeup, um, and I've got three lip products to talk about. Two of them I've actually got on my lips first. So the lip combo, the lip combo that I've got on is the Makeup Revolution lip pencil from their lip kits. They've got some new like matte liquid lipstick kind of lip kits, um, they've also got metallic ones and glossy ones I think, uh, but I did a video testing out the matte ones and I wear the colour Echelon which is probably my favourite or it's maybe it's Echelon, I'm not really sure how you like say it or Echelon or something, but in particular the lip pencils of these are amazing. I didn't realise like when I first did the video but these are like completely transfer proof which is really weird for a lip pencil I personally have never had like a transfer proof lip pencil don't know if that's just me but when you put these on your lips so I've been using this to fill in my whole lips and I often wear this if I'm gonna be like going out to dinner or something um, and I've had quite a few birthdays throughout January so I've been going out for dinner quite often and most times I've been worn this lip pencil because it's pretty like natural looking so if it does wear off like it's not super obvious if you get what I mean but also it lasts throughout my dinner which is crazy. Um, so yeah, I've really, really been loving these lip pencils um, and it comes with a liquid lipstick as well. So I've got that underneath. The NYX Liquid Suede in the shade, I think it's Sandstorm. Yeah, it's Sandstorm. Um, NYX very kindly sent me loads of their liquid suedes and these have become one of my favorite formulas of liquid lipsticks ever. I've been wearing the liquid suedes, especially this color, like almost on a daily basis. I absolutely love them, you guys. The formula is so similar to the ColourPop um, Ultra Satin Lips and those are one of my favourite formulas of liquid lipsticks of all time. They're not like completely transfer proof but they're so much more comfortable than like the super drying down liquid lipsticks if you get what I mean and they're still matte in appearance and they're still super long lasting and I think these are about £6.50 or £7 and I absolutely love them. This colour in, in, in <laughs> I can't talk today. I've had a long stressful horrible day. Yeah this colour in particular in the shade Sandstorm is just such a me colour. So if you guys haven't tried one of the NYX liquid suede's because I hadn't tried them for so long and I now know what the hype is about because these are so good. And then my final lip favourite of this month which I actually discovered recently in the past couple of weeks. Um, I did a testing new look makeup video and one of their new products is the new super matte liquid lipsticks and they just have this kind of rose gold packaging with like frosted plastic. This one is in the shade stone which to be fair is the only colour that I've tried but the formula of these new look li liquid lipsticks are so good. I don't know why, they just go on so smooth, they're super pigmented, they're not super drying, the applicator is really really nice, um, it's kind of like rounded at the end and it just moves really nicely like with your lips, it's kind of like a little bit flexible and I don't know, just everything about these liquid lipsticks I really really like and I think they're about £5. The next makeup favourite of mine is actually again something by New Look which I discovered. Since my New Look testing makeup video, testing New Look makeup video, whatever you want to call it, I've been wearing wearing this every day on my eyebrows. This is the Shape and Define Eyebrow Kit in the shade Light Brown and this is what it looks like. It just comes with two powders and a wax. I don't really use the wax ever but I have been loving this powder in the middle. Um, it's what I've got on my brows today. So quick and easy to throw on. However, I have thrown away the like little 
spoolie and the tweezers that came in here because it made it really hard to shut um, and I use a different brush which I'll talk about in a second but this powder in particular it doesn't look like anything special in the pan and it looks like it could be quite light and warm toned but on the eyebrows it looks like this and I love it I really really love it so that's what I've been using every day on my brows and I think this is $6.99 which is quite pricey for a brow kit but it works really really well so so something that I don't really know if I've mentioned that much on my channel I've replied to quite a few people's comments when they asked me what my favorite eyebrow brush is but I don't think I've kind of spoken about it um this is the spectrum a14 brush it's spectrum's little angled eyebrow brush and this brush is the best brush I have found to do my eyebrows. I use this every single day, like without a doubt. I fill on my eyebrows either with powder or with the Freedom Brow Pomade, and this is all I've been using to do it. It's really, really thin, so you can really get like, you know, a nice crisp brow. And yeah, I just love this brush so much, so. That is the A14. And then sticking with the theme of brushes, um, in terms of a face brush that I have been loving since, um, I think it was whenever I did my sponsored video with Beauty Bay, by the way, none, none of this video is sponsored, but I just absolutely love this brush. Um, so I got sent this in part of my collaboration video with Beauty Bay. This is the Morphe M439 brush. As you can see, it's a massive kind of domed buffing brush for your foundation. Um, but if I don't use a beauty blender, all I've been using is this brush. It just blends your foundation so nicely. It's really, really dense. Um, and I do actually have some similar brushes that I've got on eBay before. Um, I think they're linked down in the description box. And they just look like this. So they look very, very similar to the Morphe ones. But the difference with the Morphe one is, I find that this one applies my foundation less kind of streaky. I have to do a lot less like blending with this one than with this one. I think because this one's a little bit more dense um, and also like it's a bit bigger. So it's got like a bigger surface area. So I find it just so like quick and easy. Like do you see how big this is in comparison to my face? It's just so easy to like buff in my foundation with this and I don't know, I just think this is a great brush. So my next makeup favourite, it might not come as a surprise to you because I've spoken about this in quite a few videos recently, um, or I've worn it in quite a few videos recently. This is the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Warm Neutrals. I was debating about whether to mention this or not because I'm pretty sure it's sold out online. However, whenever it does restock, I highly recommend that you guys get your hands on this. If you love warm shades, then I think you will absolutely love this palette. As you guys know, I love warm eyeshadow colours. Like I said, I've had a few birthdays and been going out for dinner. And what I tend to do is just pop a bit of this colour in my crease, a bit of this colour in my crease. And then if I want to deepen things up a bit, I'll use a bit of this like red colour, which is what I did recently in a video. It's just such a gorgeous palette. I think it's either 14 or 16 pounds. And yeah, you can get these from Boots um, and possibly like ASOS and a few other places. I think they are out of stock there, but I'm pretty sure you can get these in Boots stores. Um, I do actually have two other shades of the NYX Ultimate palettes. I did an eyeshadow look on my Instagram using this one, which I absolutely love. And I think I'm gonna, I can't open it. <laughs> I think I'm going to do a look on my YouTube channel soon with this one. This is the Brights palette. Um, and the other day on Instagram, if you follow me, it's just Soph Does Nails. I did this kind of like sunset-y eye. And I used like these two top rows. And oh my god, it's just gorgeous. These colours are so like beautifully pigmented and matte. Most of these are matte, I think. Um, and yeah, I just absolutely love them. Like, it's such a pretty palette. And then the final one, which I haven't actually tried, is called the Smoky and Highlight Palette. So if this one looks like something that's up your street, then all of the pigmentation on these is pretty much the same. And I just think these are great palettes for the money. So the next thing I'm gonna mention is a higher end product, um, but you can get this on Cult Beauty, I think. This is the Jouer Powder Highlighter in the shade Ice. I got this because of Nikki Tutorials, not gonna lie, that's the only reason I got this. Whenever she buys a highlighter and raves about it, I tend to go out and buy it because she is the highlighter queen and we have really similar skin colours, I think. Well, she might be a bit darker than me, I don't, I don't really know. But yeah, she recommended this and this is absolutely gorgeous. The only thing I have to say about it is Jouer's full-sized highlighters are £19. This is a mini highlighter, and this was £18, so I was like, bruh, like, come on, this is so small. But this is, oh my god, like, the texture, I don't know if you can just see, like, oh, it's just so stunning. And I don't quite know how to describe this colour. 
it's it's kind of it's got like a white base but it reflects very slightly kind of peachy and on the cheekbones and just like all over the face pretty much this is just stunning it's so like smooth and creamy and oh i just i love this color i love it so much can you guys see that it's so pretty my next favorite is super random it's actually a hairbrush i kind of don't really want to turn it around the other way because it's really disgusting it's got loads of like fluff and hair in it from i don't understand why it has so much fluff in it i guess i must get fluff in my hair and then when I brush my hair it goes all fluffy I don't even know but this is called a wet brush and I always religiously use the tangle teasers I love tangle teasers don't get me wrong I think they are amazing brushes I still use my tangle teaser all the time but this one it doesn't break my hair which is amazing because I have like obviously ow my new piercing I forgot about that um, I have really kind of bleached hair but I just find that this brush just literally glides through it so nicely. I mean, in fairness, I did brush my hair before this video, but I just find that this gets the knots out so easily. And especially on wet hair, this is just amazing. I don't know how it does it, but whenever I get out of the shower and I brush my hair, this just goes through it really easily. Whereas I find other hair brushes just rip my hair out. This one doesn't, and I think it is a miracle worker. Then my final favourites of this month, before I go on to the two things that I haven't been loving so much, the final three favourites are skincare products, and so many of you guys have been commenting recently that my skin has improved so much, which it has, and I 100% put it down to my new skincare routine, because I, mm, I didn't used to take that great care of my skin, and for some reason, just before Christmas, I decided, you know what, I want to start using some nice products on my skin, and I want to try and you know, make my skin a bit nicer. So I started a new skincare routine and since then my skin has been super, super good. And my three favorite things that I've been using kind of all in combination with each other are three products from the Body Shop Tea Tree, tea tree um, kind of collection. I did do a full skincare routine on my Snapchat the other day. Um, again, that is just Soap Does Nails, but I thought I just, had to mention these products in a favourites video because I have been loving all three of these in combination. Um, the first one is the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Toner um, and this is so so good for just removing like all of the dirt and makeup off of your skin and I don't know just after I use this I find that it leaves my skin so smooth and like soft and shiny and it really like tightens all your pores I don't really know how to describe it but basically what I do first is I use a makeup wipe to remove my makeup and then I put some of this on a cotton pad and it just gets absolutely everything off obviously you don't put it on your eyes because that would kind of burn but this stuff is so good so first I use that and then the other two products from the range which are my favorite are the tea tree anti-imperfection daily solution and I've been using this every day since Christmas and it's only gone down to like here which I think is pretty amazing this is 50 milliliters but the main reason I love this is because one it moisturizes your skin really nicely it sinks in really fast but two it has glycerin in it and that basically means that it makes your face a little bit sticky and I just find this is a really good makeup primer um, anything with kind of glycerin in it causes your foundation to really like stick to your skin that's why the Nivea men post shave balm whatever it is went so viral because it has glycerin in it it makes my face that little bit tacky and my makeup goes on really well after this and then finally in terms of actually removing spots I've spoken about this quite a lot oh my gosh I'm so nearly out of this I'm gonna have to get a new one this is the tea tree it's some kind of spot treatment thing it says on the side 15% tea tree oil so it's not like a hundred percent concentration but this is the best spot treatment I've ever used. Whenever I feel like I've got a spot coming up or like a really nasty under the spot, under the skin kind of spot, I would just get some of this on a little like cotton bud, pud, bud? Oh my God. <laughs> cotton bud. And I would just wipe it <laughs> onto the area with the spot and it like reduces it so much and really just like dries it up. I'm gonna have to go to sleep. It's only 5.30 and I'm just losing my mind. Moving on to the two things that I haven't been loving this month. The first thing you guys might have predicted, this is the New Look Flawless Finish, finish Loose Face Powder in the shade Porcelain. Um, and the reason that I don't like this, okay, you can see by me just holding this up next to my face, their foundation in Porcelain is super pale, their foundation stick in Porcelain is super pale, but the powder in porcelain is super not pale. This is really orange, um, which is such a shame because 
I was looking for a new face powder and lots of you guys were telling me that New Look do do a translucent face powder and I know they do a translucent face powder but what I really don't like about the translucent powders that are kind of white in colour is that they tend to flash back in photos and Emma used the translucent one and it flashed back in photos um, and I've recently been loving the NYX HD finishing powder um, it's really good for keeping your makeup on but this again flashes back in photos um, so yeah the reason that I don't like this is because it is too orange for me. Loads of you guys have recommended the number 7 one to me, so I definitely want to try that. And also the Rimmel London one, um, which I've asked for for my birthday, so hopefully those will do the job. So the final thing that I've really not been enjoying this month, I'm really sorry Sam if you're offended by watching this video, but it is this sponge that Sam got me for Christmas. He got me this 50p blending sponge from Primark, and this is literally like a rock, like can you imagine putting this on your face? Like, I know you're supposed to wet it and stuff, but even when you wet this, it doesn't really expand at all. And it's just really, really hard, so... I don't recommend this for blending in your foundation. It literally feels like you're punching yourself in the face. So that is everything for my favourites and kind of non-favourites this month. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would love to actually know your guys' favourites in the comments down below. If there's anything you've been loving and you think I need to try, let me know and I'll see if I can get my hands on it. Again, I'm sorry for my appearance in this video. This is what I look like on a daily basis. Like, I, I never really go out with like full glam. I always just have like minimal eye makeup on uh, just a bit of mascara um so yeah if you want to see more videos from me then i would love it if you would subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye